Welcome back, everyone. If you're just getting up, 23 minutes past the hour. The Cash for Clunkers program, you've heard a lot about that over the last few days, winning praise for increasing sales in a sagging auto industry. But yesterday on Fox & Friends, we asked one congressman if the program was simply a government giveaway. Here's what he had to say. Let me tell you why it's not a bailout. This is an incentive program. A bailout is where they hand them cash for, for mismanaging their companies and saying, you know, here's, here's a U.S. taxpayer dollars. Good luck with it. This is consumer driven. If you don't want to take a part of it, don't. But with cash for clunkers utilizing money from the stimulus, aren't we already taking part in this program, even though some might not want to? It's an interesting question. Absolutely. Our guest this morning is Jeff Myron. He's the director of undergraduate studies in the Department of Economics at Harvard University. He's also a senior fellow with the Cato Institute. He joins us from Boston today. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. So you find this to be a distasteful use of public money. We shouldn't be spending cash for clunkers. Absolutely not. On the one hand, the environmental benefits, I think, are being greatly oversold because mainly what we're seeing is a shifting of when cars are purchased from three months or six months from now to the present to take advantage of this temporary discount. On the other hand, as stimulus, it's incredibly crazy because the money for these clunker, for these new cars, doesn't come from nowhere. It comes from taxpayers. So we're picking a winner and loser. This is just a backhanded way of bailing out the auto industry further, um, dressed up to be environmental policy, but it's not convincing environmental policy at all. Ironically, it may be helping dealers in the short run, Professor, but really not in the long run. I mean, they have to go through tremendous amount of paperwork to try and even just get one of these deals approved. And by my research that I've done, hardly any of them so far have been approved. So do you believe that these dealers will actually get paid back by the government $4,500 a car? Oh, I think they will end up getting paid back because the political outcry, if they got stiffed, would just be enormous. I don't think the Congress or the administration wants that. But you're absolutely right. It's a very complicated, messy way to try to accomplish these goals. A whole new program had to be created. A website crashed. There's this huge uncertainty about whether the program was going to end last Friday, today, tomorrow, whether it will be extended. So it's just lots of bureaucracy on top of uh, that, that's unnecessary if people really believed in these goals there are much better ways to accomplish the goals that they've stated. But, Professor, in terms of goals, I mean, we should make it clear, you, you, don't, you weren't for the stimulus. You don't believe government has a role in bailing anyone out. You're for the legalization of all drugs in the United States, not just marijuana, but all drugs. I mean, you think the government should have right. hands off everything, so this is just part and parcel of that, right? Absolutely. I am a libertarian. I think that we should have small government across the board. But even if you set aside my particular perspective, if you say we all agree that we should try to reduce the use of fossil fuel, for example, then there's a sensible, economically valid way to do that, which is to have a higher gasoline tax. It's simple. We already have the, the political infrastructure, the policy infrastructure to do that. We just have to change the rates. It affects everyone in a similar way, and it clearly would discourage driving in the use of fossil fuel. This program isn't necessarily even going to reduce the use of fossil fuel. Exactly. So even given those objectives, it's a crazy way to do it. Yeah, not to mention how much energy you expend by destroying just one of those cars. Exactly. Professor Jeff Myron, exactly. uh, great to hear your thoughts this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Professor. Thank you.